What's up guys? It's Neko and I'm back with another freaking video in my freaking kitchen where the lighting is the best. So today I'm going to be reviewing one of the sketchbooks I've just found in Michael's maybe like a month ago. I haven't really drawn much in it but it's really really good for like pen doodles and stuff so I decided to like do a review video on it. Honestly I've never seen this Canson um sketchbook before so i was like yo i need to review this on my channel anyways if you're new to this channel hit the like button subscribe join the party gang follow me i'm on the road to 5k and i would love it if you guys join my channel it would help a lot and yeah i hope you guys enjoy this video thank you for watching and let's get on right on into the sketchbook review slash doodle and chat kind of video vibe we're about to embark on okay so i'm gonna go grab the sketchbook i'll be right back Okay, so here's the book that I want to show you guys. So it's a gold Canson pen and ink um, book. So I'm going to go to the table so I can give you guys a close up on the book and we can talk about some of the specs of the book. And I'm going to do some doodles and I'll let you guys know what's going on. So let's get right on into the freaking video. Remember, like if you're new here, subscribe, and turn on your post notifications so you guys can get notified every time I post a freaking video. Okay, so let's get right on into the specs of the book. Okay, so this is the book up close and personal. So I think what really drew, drew me to this book and I'm gonna sound really biased for this, but it's gold. So that's what caught my eye, and then I seen the big XL, so obviously Canson, and it being a pen and ink sketchbook. And here are some of the specs. So it's ultra smooth, bright white surface, clean lines with no feathering. And obviously this is another language. It's seven inches by ten. It's eighty pounds. So this is that's a low poundage because obviously it's for pen and ink. And yeah, I like the size. It's like the kind of normal size you would get. For a sketchbook so yeah so let me just show you guys some more of the stuff in the book as far as like specs so you guys can pause this if you guys want to see like more of the details of the book the books that Canson has come out with so I've used actually the XL um, watercolor I've used the XL drawing I've used sketch I have Bristol and I've used mixed media all the time. So this is the pen one. So here's some of the pen doodles I did already at a time um, when I first got the book. And I was just basically like practicing expressions with my OC Mary. So this is what it was. So I went on Pinterest and I just looked up like a whole bunch of faces to do because honestly I feel like I have a big problem with the same face syndrome. So I just thought this would be fun and it was and I really had a good time doing this. So this was really fun just drawing different expressions and using my OC. So this is the page I did. Let me know if you guys want to see more like sketchbook content. I know some of you guys love that. So yeah. So in here I did some more little drawings, you know. Ooh, cute little drawings on some light, nothing too crazy, and yeah. And then I had did a poll on my Instagram where I was gonna um draw responses to what people sent me. So this was like somebody asked me about what did they ask me about? Um, they asked me like when was my next YouTube upload, and as I said before, like as you can see from what I wrote here, basically it's hard for me to balance like work and uploading and sometimes so. Literally, like, I'm trying to get better at that, but, like, since all this, you know, you know what happened. Because I don't want them to flag my video for saying it. You know what I'm talking about. Since, like, the whole thing happened, um, I haven't been at work. So, I've actually had time to go ahead and do certain things that I enjoy. So, yeah. And then somebody asked me what was my favorite um, drink at Starbucks. Because if some of you don't know, I actually work at Starbucks. So, Yeah. And then I started experimenting with like highlighters and stuff like that with the pen doodles and hair. So I thought this was cool. And yeah, this, this is going to be like another like trash book, I guess. Like just like planning out sketches and stuff. Just freehand stuff. I have a whole video where I talk about um, 
freehand drawing. So I'm gonna put a little card in the whatever top area because I can never figure out where the card goes, but in the card area. And then somebody told me that my drawings were disproportionate, so I took that to heart because I want to make sure that I'm improving. So I looked it up what disproportionate meant, and this is what it meant. And I see in some cases where it would look disproportionate, but hey, we all have things to work on. So I'm going to keep an eye out for that. And then somebody was like something about me being precious or something, and I was just like, I'm not. <laughs> and I think this was the last um, doodle I did in here for the book. But yeah, this is the little book. It has really smooth paper. Really smooth paper. And it's lightweight. So perfect for pen sketches. And yeah, I'm really looking forward to using this book a lot coming up in the future. Um, yeah, I haven't did a sketchbook review video in a while. The last one I did was the Arteza Mixed Media book. And I'm still working on that one. So if you guys want to check out that video, I'll leave a little card for that. Hopefully I remember to do it because I hate when I say I'm going to do it and I don't do it. So yeah, I'm going to make sure I actually put it. But yeah, that's basically the book. So I thought I would do some little sketches in here for you guys since I just don't want to end the video and make it boring like that, you know. But if you made it this far into the video, hit the like button. Subscribe to your girl. I'm trying to hit 5K. So subscribe and let's find something to draw real quick. Let me go grab a pen. Oh, I can show you guys the pens I like to sketch with. That'll make the video more interesting. Okay, so I went and grabbed some pens. I'm gonna take these off because they keep like scratching on the table every time I'm trying to talk to y'all. But um, yeah, so I got these pens. You guys can't even see me. It's okay, it's not about me, it's about the pens. Like in case y'all just wanted to see me just for this part there, whatever. Um, okay, so these are the two pens I be using. I actually have another one that I use, but um, I can't find it. But um, this is the Muji pen that you can get from Muji. And then this is a profile. Why? Okay, I was really interrupted. This is the Profile Paper Mate pen and then Muji. So yeah, sorry I'm leaning to the side. I want to use my smaller tripod for this section, but hey, we just chilling, you know, quarantine or whatever, you know. Everybody stay home, you know, stay safe. I'll be good. All you guys are good. And let's do some doodling. Doodling real quick. You know, my wife who trying to mess up my video, you know. I'm supposed to be doing this in one take so I could go and have my snacks and go watch my show. You know? Take this makeup off. Yeah, so. Actually, you guys might be wondering why do I keep doing these? Because I am practicing my hobby on the side is actually doing some makeups and it's fun. So, yeah. Think about doing a channel for beauty or stuff like that. Yo, shut the hell up. <laughs> I'm gonna wait. Yeah. When your neighbor's loud as hell and you're trying to record. Oh my god. I'll wait. <laughs> yeah, so I'm gonna draw like a little doodle if I can. Because my neighbor's so loud as hell. Um, Is this pink picking up? It still look like I'm blushing. I try to give myself like the anime girl blushes, like how the E girls be doing, and then I try to do the freckles, but it didn't. It didn't work. And also, I don't think that it looks cute on me with the freckles. But I like the like blush look. It looks cute. I just have to do it really light because I don't want to look like Boo Boo the Fool. So, yeah, yeah. I think my neighbors are gone. We can start drawing. <laughs> my kitty cat. I haven't showed you guys him in a while. He be acting rude though, you know? Sir? See how rude he is? This was a stray cat I found that my wife took care of. And now he lives here and he's ungrateful. Sir? What is all that? 
God damn, I'm trying to film. <laughs> videos you want to see me do sorry if the lighting is like slack slicing me right now but hey this is the best lighting in my house in the kitchen where all the food is to distract me from doing my work you guys and yeah let me know in the comment section below like what kind of videos you guys want to see me do because i'm doing a poll right now on my instagram if you're not following me on my instagram it is literally at party neko i post there like every single day in my story and i post every day to every other day on my um feed so if you guys want to see more from me you guys should definitely go follow that and uh, yeah let me know you came from youtube i'll shout y'all in my story anyways i don't know what i want to do i'm waiting for my my chicken to warm up now um i'm still thinking about doing now the microwave is rude <laughs> i'm still thinking about doing like semi um studio vlog stuff coming up soon now that I finally have my own apartment with some of you guys probably know and probably been around for the struggle for that this is just filler for the video so that the video has more context um yeah I'm just trying to figure out what kind of stuff I'm trying to do on here and just diversifying it a little more um one of my biggest inspirations for how I want my content to be on my channel is Fran if you guys know Fran Nerd on here, like she's one of my biggest inspirations on how I want to transition my um, art channel to be like, or even like catnip creations, uh, illustrations. Like I like their style of videos. Like it's very like hands on with like art stuff, and also like they like show the behind the scenes stuff, and then you like get to know them as a person, and it's not like the pressure of like sitting down to do a straight up speed paint video or like straight up any kind of like straight up just straight art video i like the flexibility of just like just going with the flow you know so i'm gonna think about doing something like that and a couple of posts and yeah i do have my life as neko page but honestly i think i'd rather just post to this page because literally i, I do art every day all day like literally that's all i think about so to me, it just, the Party Neko brand just means like me on my art journey. So I want to show that more. So that's what I'm thinking to do. So let me know in the comment section below if that's something you guys actually want to see. And if you don't want to see it, then we'll just start a new fan base. <laughs> Very negative, but it's the truth. So yeah. So what are we going to do? I don't know. Let's dress some OCs. All right, I'm coming. So now we will draw for the rest of the video. So yeah, so let me go, let me know in the comment section below if you guys want to see like that type of content. I mean, that's the content I'm leaning towards. So it's like I'm asking you guys for your suggestions, but it's also like, at the end of the day, I should I'm gonna do what makes me happy, and I'm thinking with this quarantining thing that's going on, this is the perfect time for me to try out basically all the content i want to try out and honestly i feel like it will help me film more because obviously i'm like oh my pen smudge so you got to be aware of smudging sometimes with certain inks you're using um yeah so doing that type of content um i probably will record more because honestly i would feel less pressured and then it still will be about me like working towards becoming an artist so yeah and when i first initially started my channel it was like mostly to like inspire artists to like bite the bullet and actually like you could actually become an artist because there was so much negative stigma in my home and especially around the time where college was coming on because i wanted to initially go to school for a art major or something that was in the art field and yeah I mean, no shade to my parents. I mean, I understand parents want your, their kids to have, like, a sustainable job. But, you know, I could have went into animations. I could have did architecture. I mean, I could have did whatever. I just like creating things. So, that's always something. So, yeah. So, I initially made this channel with my waifu. And we made videos. And we had fun. It was fun. It's still fun. 
but like as I'm growing older, they you know, some you know sometimes the scope changes. Like the the what is it? The niche of the channel is not changing. The way the niche is displayed will be changing. So yeah, I think some of you guys will enjoy that because like it's gonna be me opening up about more things, um, showing more behind the scenes and progress videos. And there still will be those traditional sit down art videos where I just you know do how I regularly do but like I'm I'm just trying to figure out like what's my ideal thing and you know YouTube is kind of like my hobby if I get it to if I get it to become something sustainable then yay but like I said it's a hobby so I should be doing it exactly the way I want to do it because it's not my job so yeah so thank you to all the people who have subscribed to my channel and thank you for those who have been here since my channel was ghost kiss and yeah just look forward to i look forward to diversifying my content and building new connections with you guys and i want you guys to be um more active in the comment section so that you know i can make content that will be helpful for younger artists and motivating to those who actually like to create on a professional level and on a hobbyist level you know what I mean? Yeah, we just chilling. We just chilling over here. We just chilling. We just chilling. My wife will come in here trying to mess my video up again. I see her. This is a very lax video. That's why I don't care. But the neighbors is being rude as hell. I'm sorry. It was loud as hell. Yeah, I just can't wait to eat it. <laughs> Thank you. You can try some if you want. I have a lot. Yep, so obviously this video is over, so we're over here talking about chicken. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, I'm probably going to edit this up and probably put it up today. And thanks for coming by. Thanks for listening to my TED Talk. Um, <laughs> yeah, let's look forward to diversifying the content. What she doing, bro? <laughs> Why would, ew. Anyways, like, comment, subscribe, join the party gang, turn your post notifications on so you can get notified when I post another freaking video. And I'm going to see you guys in my next freaking video. I'm about to eat this chicken because the girl's hungry. And I think I already filmed my outro, so let's just transfer you to outro, Neko. See you later. Mad sunny. So thank you guys so much for watching my video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I don't know, let me know if you guys find this sketchbook in like your local art stores because I've never seen this one before and I like doing pen and ink sketches so I thought it would be a cool um share for you guys like you know try this out and honey it's gold. <laughs> so if you guys enjoyed this video please hit the like button, subscribe, join the party gang if you want to join my family and we're on the road to 5k so if you want to support hit the like button subscribe and don't forget to turn on your post notifications so that you guys get um notified every time i post a freaking video so i hope you guys enjoyed this video i'll see you in my next one bye